The entire Mideast region is on alert this morning as military action against Syria seems more imminent. Let's get the very latest now live from our Jerusalem bureau where ABC's Molly Hunter is standing by. Good morning, Molly. Let's start with Israel. What are they doing to prepare for the worst? Israel is watching from a distance mostly. Uh, yesterday, Prime Minister Netanyahu said they were ready for any scenario. They were ready to respond if threatened. Uh, but they're mostly watching from a distance here. Normal Israelis are certainly taking precautions. Yesterday, there was a run on gas masks. We heard the demand for gas masks was up fourfold. Molly, let's talk about what Syria's regime might do if we strike. So much focus on what we might do. What might they do in, in response? President Assad gassed hundreds, thousands of his own people, so there's no telling what he might do next. The Syrian regime has hundreds of tons of mustard gas. They have major stockpiles of sarin, and they have more than 100,000 missiles and rockets uh, that could hit many neighboring countries, including here in Israel. They're certainly ready here. Molly, what are you hearing about those weapons inspectors in Syria after what turned out to be a pretty rocky first day? We spoke with them yesterday. As you mentioned, on Monday, they headed to the, one of the sites um, in question and snipers fired at their cars. They ended up visiting the site after all. But yesterday, they laid low, uh, did a security assessment to plan the rest of their week. Uh, we heard that they visited towns southwest of Damascus on Monday. Activists actually tell us that most of the fatalities were to the east of the capital. So today, they're expected to regroup and head out again. All right, ABC's Molly Hunter reporting live from Jerusalem. Thank you.